Welcome back to Block TV. I'm Ron Friedman reporting from Vaduz Liechtenstein, home to the new headquarters of cryptocurrency exchange Bitrix Global. Bitrix announced the opening of their operations in the tiny European country, home to fewer than 40,000 people, but boasting the highest GDP per capita in the world earlier this month. The move has to do in part with the country's rich banking and finance history, but more so to its recent passing of the National Blockchain Act, which offers an unparalleled opportunity to operate in a fully regulated space with all the benefits that regulatory clarity offers the cryptocurrency industry. Let's listen to what the Bittrex Global executives here in Vaduz had to say. As many of you know, one of the hardest things in crypto is to determine what is the particular token asset. And Europe and Liechtenstein actually have some pretty clear guidance and pretty clear rules about what constitutes a financial instrument, e-money, and the like. And in fact, in the Ireland today, we have a few of our lawyers who've been helping us with that analysis, which is always, always good to see. Uh, and so we're able to rely upon that regulatory clarity in the European Union, um, and that's why we're focusing on this sort of global non-US. We aim to be, as many of you know, uh, the Liechtenstein just passed their Blockchain Act, and we aim to be one of the first exchange uh, platforms to operate within that Blockchain Act. You know, currently we are operating under a trade license in Liechtenstein, but once that, uh, once the Blockchain Act goes into effect, I think at the beginning of next year we want to be one of the first uh, crypto companies that has the license under them. Um, and that will help us actually accelerate some new products, features that we want to offer our customers. So again, it's this idea of once we get the regulatory clarity, once we understand what the rules are, it's much easier for us to innovate quickly and efficiently in a safe way for our customers. That also allows us to expand our current offering. So right now, Bittrex International has over 200 some odd tokens. Bittrex Liechtenstein will also have that same number, but we can even expand not only the number of tokens, but the types of tokens that we offer once we get that regulatory clarity. We have a crypto exchange now. We're going to launch that at the end of this month. And that exchange will also be something that we will try to get licensed under the new Blockchain Act come the new year. We are going to try to uh, apply for an e-money license and an investment firm license. So as a Bittrex Global, we'll be able to offer consumers the full package from cryptocurrency all the way to securities. I think we're actually in the financial services business. Right? We're powered by technology. and. This isn't a new business. It's highly regulated, and you know I've met some of these incredibly successful people who, you know, out of nowhere in two years, have created these massive companies, um, especially the exchanges, and explain to them you've stumbled into the most highly regulated industry on planet Earth. Congratulations, you've built these big companies overnight, but you can't sort of not go and do all of the the good bits, and that's sort of what we're trying to do here. And I think just building on what Karen was saying, that's why we chose Liechtenstein. I think right now having regulatory clarity in an established banking center is pretty unique on planet Earth. And the EEA membership is very nice as well, as our friends visiting from the UK can tell you. Um, so I think the things that Bittrex is already known for, you know, it's a pioneer in the trading of digital assets. You know, right now, because we do embrace regulation and some of our competitors don't, we've, we used to be you know, known as probably the, one of the largest exchanges in the world. I think we've probably lost a bit of market share, and that's fine, because we want to do things the right way. We already exist internationally. We have a company that's run out of Malta called Bittrex International, and it's moving to Liechtenstein. So we don't need to sell you on Liechtenstein. You're already here. But I think what's interesting about Bittrex is not just that we're moving here from Malta that's exciting. We're adding a lot of new features. So some of these, frankly, are things that our competitors already have. But you know, if you're going to build it the right way with AML and KYC and not just sort of allow anybody onto your website, it takes some time. And we're going to have now fiat gateways in the US dollar. We'll add other currencies, all from non-US banks, again, for non-US um, individuals and residents, as Karen mentioned. We're going to have credit card on ramps, which is very exciting, because then you can have any credit card um, and any currency around the world and, and start to trade on the exchange. Assuming, again, you get approved as a client. We're going to offer margin trading, which is really exciting. Bittrex credits. So we're not issuing a token, but we'll enable people to have a credit, like a frequent flyer point, and get trading discounts and have some of those benefits. We're going to offer euro trading pairs. And again, we'll offer Swiss francs and other currencies over time. Eventually, we're going to add a mobile trading app. And we're going to have a lot of social engagement, especially through our friends at WE, who are going to help us build that out. So again, you'll start to see a lot of things coming out of us. Ahead of its launch by the end of the month, Bittrex hosted two teams that are considering listing on their exchange. 
From South Korea, APM Coin, a wholesale fashion market, blockchain-based customer reward and payment platform. And the second project, Block TV, the channel you're watching now, with a plan to tokenize high-tech video content streaming. Also in attendance is a member of the royal family here in Liechtenstein, His Serene Excellence Prince Michael, brother to the head of state Prince Hans Adam II. As a citizen of Liechtenstein, a businessman in Liechtenstein, I'm particularly proud that we are a global pioneer with the recently passed Blockchain Act. This new act provides an ideal framework for the blockchain industry, especially also in finance. And I'm sure because otherwise a blockchain is already used quite extensively in logistics. They start to use it in the medical research and in other researches, and there it's always necessary in finance. And I'm sure that even if Liechtenstein is only a very small country, its legislation might have a big influence on the further blo blockchain regulation in the European Union. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more blockchain and cryptocurrency news. Reporting from Vaduz, I'm Ron Friedman. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter.